Welcome back, beautiful souls. Tech Thursday is about to kick off with an absolute game changer right now. You mm. definitely want to pay attention to this. I'm so excited when I see people using their passion, using their talents to create magic, right, G? Yeah, man. Is it <laughs> science? Is it wonder? It is changing Ooh. the narrative. Yeah, let us find out. Now, master's student at UCT, Kai Goodall, is using his love for engineering to make a difference in the community. Now, studying electrical engineering, Kai has been involved with outreach programs for a few years now. Now, that's in order to help underprivileged learners to realize their full potential through the field. Yeah, closing the gap. That's been our focus all morning. Now, he's also recently won an international design competition, the RS Components International People, Planet, Product, Student Design Challenge for the innovative foot-cranked washing machine dubbed the pedal and spin washing machine. It sounds amazing. Well, Count joins us now in studio to chat a little bit about some of his amazing new inventions that are hopefully going to make millions for him and change the lives of millions, um, but also his love of engineering as it comes to bear in the service of others. Kai, welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for having me on the show. How are you doing? Because, like, to me, Great, you feel you. like this young... I don't know, is it Albert Einstein? Is it a Tesla? <laughs> is it a shuttle? I don't know, man. But what inspired all these innovations, innovations, these inventions, sure. these creations? Where does the passion Are you a mad scientist? Yeah. <laughs> Are you a mad scientist? Well, I've, it comes from two things. It definitely starts off when, from a young age. I've always been very inspired by cutting edge technology, as well as just innovating to be renewable and to help society through all my engineering designs. That's always been my passion. But now, as well as an engineer, I've realized that social responsibility and engineering for people is very, very important up there with my passions. And that's where all my projects come from. And my washing machine project actually fitted perfectly into all of that because it's used by low-income people around the world to help them do their washing without using any electricity, as well as it can be used by anyone that wants to be more off the grid and sustainable whilst increasing their fitness, of course. So. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you brought in the fitness element there as well. <laughs> I, I just have this vision of you looking at every problem in the world and then not being able to sleep because you know that there is an invention out there that can counter that. How does the process work for you in terms of your creativity? Because it's not just about a scientific component within your brain. You're addressing social issues here. There is, there is a different dynamic at play. So where does that seed start to germinate for you? Are you constantly writing notes on a, <laughs> on a pad? Do you look, drive down the street, you're like, I, I can solve that problem. I will, <laughs> I'll invent something. How does it all work? OK, sure. So yeah, as currently doing my master's in electrical engineering at UCT, and for my undergrad, I did a Bachelor of Science in Megatronics. So UCT has been a great platform for my social innovating, as well as developing things that help society. So actually at UCT at the moment, my lecturer, Dr. David O'Dokin, found out about this competition, which is run by RS Components. Um, it's called the International People Planet Product Student Design Challenge, um, in partnership with the Washing Machine Project and Grassroots. And it was to basically improve their current hand-cranked washing machine, which is used all around the world in refugee camps and low-income formal settlements. So I improved the design, and I came out tops with my pedal and spin washing machine, which I'll be showing you later on on the show, as well as all my designs, I always think, just like you said, I'm always thinking of how can I be sustainable and help society through one of my engineering designs. And that's what these projects are right here, is they're for outreach to encourage the youth in South Africa in underprivileged areas to actually do engineering and uplift their own communities. So for sure. that's always Man, behind all the my answers team. might be there already. Yeah. 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 And one thing I absolutely love, and it's almost like inside me is just celebrating the nature of inside of me because this invention that we're speaking about, it's so green. You're mentioning the passion yes. that you have for sustainability. Why is that so important to you right now, man? Yeah. Okay, no, no, that's, that's very, very important to me. And I'll tell you why. It's because it's one of my main passions at the moment. And this washing machine uses no electricity and it can be used off-grid uh, to boost sustainability. And through all my projects as an engineer, I've realized that us engineers, we have the potential to create a much greener future for everyone. Yes. And all these projects here you see today and the washing machine, they all use renewable energies. And that's probably my main passion at the moment, is renewable energy, innovating in that space, and creating new technologies. So all my projects use solar energy, 
or no electricity where they can. And I think that's very, very important for the future because of not relying on ESCOM and just being off-grid and more sustainable. Do you think that should be like the mandate for all engineers? Like this guy's seeing the boy. Right? Yeah, no, look, completely, man. <laughs> but no, but that, that should be the point of technology mm. to service humanity. That's why we are, are, are applying our collective might. Thank you so much for building a miniature Batmobile for my son. <laughs> I absolutely love the fact that this and is the first one for year well. for Carl as well. <laughs> Um, what is this, first of all? Yeah, I'm guessing a solar-powered yeah. something. And um, before we, we introduce the world to your amazing washing yeah. machine, talk us through what you brought in to show. Okay, sure. So these are currently my projects I'm working on, as well as I have this great project here as well. But I'll be talking to you this in a that's second. That's the one that's going to make you millions. I don't know what it is, but it's going to make <laughs> so you millions. So currently, um, as I said, UCT has been a great platform and I started off strong in my honours year. I made that project over there, which is the smaller little solar car, and it's very dynamic, intuitive. It has solar panels that track the sun whilst it drives. It can do obstacle avoidance. Wow. And I actually, in 2019, I won an award for it um, at the South African Institute of Electronic Engineers National Student Project, Com National Student Project Competition because of its outreach potential. As in, we take this to high schools, in Mitchell's Plain, and we actually show the high school learners, here's engineering, and we want to create and nurture that interest in electrical engineering from a young age, God, so that they can also study engineering. Yeah. And then the natural progression was, I had to build a better one, right? Yeah. So this is a much more <laughs> advanced solar car right here. Currently, it doesn't have solar panels on it right now, but it's in progress. And this is my master's project, and it's going to use really cutting-edge cutting, cutting edge technology such as computer vision, which is using cameras, as well as artificial intelligence for more advanced self-driving, as well as solar tracking. And this, I've actually been running an educational program at UCT for about 12 weeks now when high school learners come, and I've actually been teaching them basics of electronics, as well as they've been helping me build it to further improve them their lives as well as... And it's much faster. What is that? Please tell please. us what this cool thing is. So in 2020, during the peak of coronavirus, I actually designed this. It's a 3D printed multi-tool that can open a number of taps and doors without... You, please take one and look, look at it. Without, um, touching, without touching the surface of the tap and door in shared communities, oh. where the issue is that many communities use single taps, and we actually got sponsorship from the IEEE, which is the Institute of Electronic and Electric Engineers, and we donated 1,000 to Kailicha and 1,000 to Google Air <laughs> in the townships there. So this has been another great little social innovation of mine, and it's showing that through technology such as 3D printing, anyone can think of a design and bring it to life. Just like that. They're going to be using these on Mars, I have no <laughs> doubt. They're going to, hopefully Corona won't go to Mars, but they'll be using these on Mars. Buddy, stick around, you're doing some amazing work yeah. here. But, and, and the crazy thing is, he hasn't even really gotten started, dude. He's still studying. <laughs> this is insane to me. We're going to introduce you to that game changer, that award-winning washing machine that could potentially change the lives of millions of people living below the bread line. Stick around. It's my feel-good Welcome back. Thanks so much for keeping it locked as we delve into the final uh, half hour of what has been an inspirational yeah, show. Man, Mind has been blown and it's going to continue to be blown right now. We are back with the engineering master students, multi award winning master student at UCT, Kai Goodall, who has invented amongst a myriad of uh, socially developing tools, if we can call it that, a pedal and spin washing machine. So he's brought it into studio to show us how simply it works because it's really simple in concept and in idea and hopefully right now there is a billionaire ready to invest and change yes. the world. Kai, That's it's happening. cool man. It, it must fill you with excitement to see it here. No, no, hey? no. Thanks for having me on the show. It's great having you here um, and it's getting the have you named it? Like, uh, like Lucy? It's the pedal and spin foot cranked washing machine. <laughs> uh, it uses a direct drive nature so you need the user simply pumps the foot pedals in an alternating fashion, so there's no electricity needed. Okay. And it can be used around the world by anyone that wants to be off-grid, more sustainable, without using electricity, as well as by low-income and displaced people around the world to wash their clothes and improve their hygiene levels. As well as this washing machine currently, this is the one that won my competition, with the competition which is the RS Components International People Planet Product Student Design Challenge, in partnership with the washing machine project and Grassroots. And I'm currently making four more of these units, improved units, and I'll be donating these four units to local townships in South Africa and in Cape Town using the prize money I received from the competition. And then afterwards, I'll be making another 50 of these units. And I actually welcome funding for that, please, and, um, and, any, and as well as any support and collaboration. And if anyone would like to get hold of me, collaborate with me, as well as receive updates and more information, my email address is kaigoodall at gmail.com. 
That's K-A-I-G-O-O-D-A-L-L at gmail.com. As well as please connect with me on LinkedIn and follow me on my Instagram, Kai Goodall, for more updates on this project as well as all my other exciting engineering projects you saw earlier. Nice. Yeah, I would, I would fancy right. this is the right chance to get on board as well because Kai's going places. Kai, yeah. It's going to be Kai Enterprises or good old Enterprises <laughs> at some point and then you, you will, trust me, be enjoying the shares De that you have in it. Yeah? It definitely is an opportunity. I think anyone watching now, like this is an opportunity to literally change the world for the good and go green at the same time. But my question is, does it work? I mean, firstly, <laughs> it's a washing machine, yeah. right? And it looks crazy and I know we're going to put it to the test now, but like... Does it fit a lot of washing yeah, in? What's Can the load size? Yeah, 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 let's talk specs here, man. No, no, sure, 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 I got yeah. you. So uh, it is, is this technology, so of course specs are yeah. important. So it uses 20 liters of cold water, okay. Okay. normal washing detergent, and takes around uh, five kilograms of clothes. That's oh, wow. 20 shirts or 20 t-shirts, as well as it can be used by any user, and I've tested it actually with a whole bunch of different users, uh, from my 12-year-old brother all the way up to my 85-year-old grandmother. And that's why now when we donate these extra units, these four and then the 50 afterwards, I actually be doing field testing on a regular basis for around four to six weeks. And through that field testing, I'll actually be learning from the people in these townships and areas on how to improve the device further. Nice. So that's very important to me. And any direct donations can be done through the Washing Machine Project's website, which is thewashingmachineproject.org. So please, let's change the world let's together. Well, I yeah. love the fact that there is a personal pride component here. You're not just gifting someone something that is, yes, it's utilitarian, but it also speaks to an emotional conversation here. People feel better about themselves if they can clean their clothes and they can have a sense of pride. I love that. Do you want to put it to the test, oh, dude? Yeah. Oh, yeah, hey. I'm definitely keen to try that out. Do you want to demo it first so I don't sure. like do anything crazy and then I can maybe go for a spin? Let me get a chair. Can we, we have can a, do that right, right. Chair. This is the way you request for a chair. 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 Voila. <laughs> well done, well done. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> nice, man. So is it just like, just sit on pedal, go for it? Is there do any technique? Do you need to warm up or no, stretch no, no, no. before you do it? So you simply put your feet into the pedals and away we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Simple as that. You and just a, put your fitness tracker on. Yeah, get some points while you're at it. <laughs> and it's a direct drive nature. You, as you can see here, the foot pedals are just connecting to the drum with a specialized unit on either side of it. It's a cage unit. And that also allows you to quickly remove the drum out of the supporting base unit to put your clothes in Washington. Who would you like it to? Okay, it so that's how you man. put the clothes in. I'd imagine you can also then transport it like that at the same time, right? Yep. So what happens is over here, you actually release using a wing nut on either side of the device. This comes off the specialized case unit and you quickly release the drum and add your clothes and wash. And voila, all right, let me put this to the test. I'm just thinking to myself in, a, in, a, in, the, craziest, in the craziest sense of the, of the word. There we go, okay, let's go, pedal, pedal. Hey, hey. simple as that. I'm just thinking how all the oaks like out in the villages, in the communities and townships who get a couple of these together and do like a spinning class at the same time, man. <laughs> I was actually able to, during my field testing, I was actually I approached a young mother and she was actually able to nurse her child Whilst while actually doing washing it. her clothes. And look at us gents here while we wash our clothes, <laughs> just having a casual chat, you know, chilling with the boys. How easy is this, man? And That's it's not amazing. even that strenuous. Although I am getting a little bit of movement in this at the same time, this is perfect. Well done. I'm absolutely loving this. I can just see a lot of people with some shredded quads walking around uh, with clean, oh, clean clothes clean, yeah. quads. <laughs> <laughs> Shorts on. I absolutely love it. No, I, I think you must be commended for the, the focus that yeah. you have chosen because it's a choice to apply yourself to these particular kinds of inventions. It's crazy to me that this is just the start. I, I'm hoping that the right CEO of the right company is watching right now to, to invest. Once again, how can people get in touch with you? What's the oh, best sure. way? So the best way to get in touch with me for collaboration or more information on this product as well as any funders or anyone that wants to help the project is my email address. It's kaigoodall at gmail.com. That's K-A-I-G-O-O-D-A-L-L -L at gmail.com. As well as please connect with me on LinkedIn, and my Instagram, Kai Goodall, to, for more updates, as well as information on this, as well as all my other exciting engineering projects. Because after my master's now, I want to continue in the line of uh, engineering product development and innovation to help society whilst being green, to, and, and making, sustainable. And making millions and millions of <laughs> Yes. Um, because I know what you would use those resources for. You've proven that, my mm. friend. Oh, what a shining example of what you can do with technology and the right kind of intent. And if you're a young scientist out there or in, in any way interested in maths, in science, in innovation, in engineering, go and check him out on his Instagram page. DM him, engage with him, start collaborating because that's where it all begins. <laughs>